Hello, I am going to show you how to flash the MS2 Extra firmware onto a fresh Megasquirt or possibly one that you've already had built and used for something else, but we're going to cover the fresh install which should apply to everyone. First you're going to want to download the firmware and then pull up a web browser. You're going to want to go to the Megasquirt Extra website, that's msextra.com Go to the forum. I'm going to go to the MS2 Extra Development section. Right here, MS2 Extra Alpha. Generally, it will be a sticky at the top of the forums, the most recent version, so that's why I clicked on that. And here's the link to the download. I'm going to download it, save it. Okay, now I'm going to double click on it to open it. There it is. Now, extract all files. I want to extract to C colon slash EFI. I put everything there so that I know where it's going to be. Um, that puts it on your hard drive in the EFI directory. Don't need to show extracted files. Assume this is a fresh computer. You've got either a real serial port or more likely you've got a USB serial port. And I assume that you've got your USB serial port drivers working. So you go in computer name or computer hardware device manager ports. Find the, the communications port. Um, this could be any number here. You see it says COM1 on mine because the real serial port. If it's a USB port, it could be 5, it could be 3. Anyways, just note the number it is. And then go to Port Settings, change that to 115.2, click Advanced, turn these buffers all the way down. And if it's a USB port, this is where you can change the COM port number if you want to make it 1, if number 1 is available. That's an uh, easy way to find it. Okay, close that, close that. Let's go ahead and do that. You could say show extracted files. Anyways, EFI. There we go. Now, download MS2 firmware. That's the one you want to run. Run. Okay, now, remember the COM port number it was? Put that number here. For me, it's number one. Uh, generally, one will work fine here. Are you operating standard Megasquirt code? If this is a fresh Megasquirt and you've never flashed it before, you want to say yes. If it's had MS2 Extra already loaded on it, you can say no here and save yourself opening the case to get to the jumper. But we'll go this way. Say yes. Turn it off. Obviously, it's off. Disconnect coils. If it's still in the car, Disconnect your injectors and your coils. Generally pull the fuel pump relay. Everything should be running off that if you wired it correctly. Install the boot jumper. Okay, use a fresh mega squirt. It came with the boot jumper installed. You turn it on. It's pl plugged into my stimulator, so I'll turn the stim on. And it's now flashing it, writing, and it's done. So I can turn it back off. Remove the boot jumper. There we go. Turn it back on, and it is now flashing the MS2 Extra firmware onto the Megasquirt chip. Do you get any errors here? It was probably because you didn't turn the buffers down. Just waiting for it to get done now. And it's done. At this point, um, you need to uh, install and get Tuner Studio working. Well, let's go ahead and do that while I got your attention. Tuner Studio. There it is. Let's go to the download page. Download the MSI. Save. And before I can run Tuner Studio, I need the Java Virtual Machine. Java VM. Let's we'll type Java VM. There it is. Downloads. There we go. 
I'll download this one. Save it. We're waiting for that file to get done downloading. We can't run Tuner Studio without Java, so we'll press Java run install. Do not install the toolbar. Thank you very much. Now it's in downloading and installing Java. Okay. Successfully installed Java. Well, wow. pays to have a fast internet connection. Now I can run Tuner Studio. Okay. We'll run. Next. I'm going to click everyone. Gray. Next. Next. I'm doing this install on Windows XP. Windows 7 will be a little bit different. Um, okay, there's Tuner Studio. It showed up on my desktop. Uh, double click it. This will be how to set up Tuner Studio. <clears throat> Go ahead and maximize it. File, new project. I'm going to call this um, garage, garage computer. Um, ECU definition. Now, if you're just running standard firmware, we got MS2. Oh, they've even got the latest uh, beta in here. But let's say it didn't actually know about the latest beta. Let's say you got a newer version. You can click Other, and you can go click here. Now, on your hard drive, local disk C, the EFI folder, there's the version I downloaded. I can click on the INI myself, see if it's a uh, micro squirt, you want the US2 extra. If it's a um, mega squirt, you want the MS2 extra. So I click on that, I'd say open, and then there we go. Next, um, tell it I've got a LC1, AFR, can commands, I'm going to turn those on because one of these days I'm going to be using that. Um, I'm not sure what all this is. Okay, next. Garage computer, I want 115.2 for Omega Squirt 2. Go test port. Failed. Oh, it's because Omega Squirt's off. Here, I'll turn the Omega Squirt back on. Test port. Successful. Okay, next. Let's do the dashboard. Uh, analog. No, analog bars are not. Yes, this is my favorite one. It's firing up. Okay. If you've got a slightly slow computer, turn off anti-aliasing. I can't tell the difference, so I always turn it off. Okay, let's say you've already got Tuner Studio set up and you've loaded new firmware, a new version of firmware. You want to go File, Project, Project Properties, and then you can click Other again and load a new firmware. But I'm not doing that, so I'm going to hit Cancel. Anyways, that's the whole thing. This is uh, Tuner Studio. And uh, that's how you install it, and that's how you flash new firmware. Thanks for uh, watching my video.